a proper wrestling uh, takedown shot, okay? Um, so I know just dealing with teaching a lot of jiu-jitsu students, um, you know, when they try to do like a wrestling shot, like a double leg shot or for a single leg, a lot of times, zoom in on my leg a little bit, a lot of times they don't really change their level. And so what happens is, and I think this is why a lot of jiu-jitsu people don't really like takedowns because they think it's hard on the body, uh, what they do, instead of changing their level, they just kind of, boom, they just kind of crash into the mat and then what's happening is they lose all their power. So when they try to do like a double leg or a single leg, it's like, oh, it's like they fell into the mat and then they're trying to scramble back up. Um, so everything is about being efficient, guys. It doesn't matter if you do wrestling, judo, jujitsu, you have to be as efficient as possible, okay? Um, so you guys, I'm gonna show you some different drills to kind of get your shot ready. Um, and so I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to practice both sides because it's, it's just very uh, personal what side you use. It's like, uh, you know, in striking, you have orthodox, southpaw, or even like, you know, like, uh, like skateboarding or something. You have like regular, you have goofy foot. So I, I, I suggest you guys do it on both sides. Try both sides and see which one's better. And then, you know, your bad side, maybe put a little bit more effort into that side because ideally you want to be, you know, good on both sides and be dexterous, okay? So we're just going to work on the wrestling shot. So um, I just like to keep my feet hip width or shoulder width apart. Nothing too crazy, not too far out, not too close. Can you see that? So I don't want my feet too close because I'm not going to have a lot of power, okay? So I'll, I'll, I always want my hips or my legs hip width or shoulder width apart, okay? And the same thing's going to happen when I have a staggered stance. So again, my legs shouldn't be too far away like I'm doing a split, all right? Imagine like you're gonna sprint, like the same the same uh, posture, same stance you would have it as sprinting, that's the same stance you're gonna need for your, your, uh, your shot, okay? So again, try both sides. I'm gonna start with my right leg in front, and from here, I, I'm just gonna focus on changing my level. That's the most important steps, changing your level. So you can think of that as like doing a squat, okay? So I wanna bring my hips down, and I wanna keep my back as straight as possible, okay, while I'm doing that. So I'm just gonna squat down, keeping my back as straight as possible, all right? One thing I see a lot of people do, they lean backwards. And so if I were to do like a wrestling shot, like for a double leg or something, and I'm leaning backwards, I'm probably gonna fall backwards or my opponent would knock me backwards. So just to demonstrate, sometimes people, they lean too far backwards and I'm kinda off balance. Boom, I'm gonna fall. If anything, I want to lean forward, so just getting that forward momentum ready. So I squat, and I want to lean forward, placing all my weight on my front leg. And so what happens is I can't hold that very long, and so I, I have to go forward, okay, or I'm going to fall on my face. So again, I change my level, maintaining my back straight, and I'm going to start to lean forward. Look how I place all my weight on my front leg. Okay, now I'm gonna pick my heel off the ground and I'm gonna drive my knee towards the mat. Okay, boom, that's the first step. Again, changing my level, leaning forward, bringing my ankle off the ground, and I'm gonna place my knee on the mat. Okay, and then you can put your hands down to catch yourself. All right? And so the next step, once I get my knee towards the mat, I need to open up my hip. So as soon as I hit my knee on the mat, I need to expand my body, okay? Again, I wanna keep my back as straight as possible when I'm making contact with my partner. Say I was doing a double leg. As soon as I hit my knee on the mat, boom. I need to widen my body, okay? From here, I'm gonna step my back leg next to me. And from here, I'm gonna stand up. And when I stand up, I don't wanna just continue forward. It's gonna be kind of awkward. So when I go when I go up, I'm gonna put all my weight on that side leg, okay? Imagine it's just like a spring, and now I'm gonna push myself to the opposite direction, okay? So I load that leg up, and I go the opposite direction. Okay, again. So one leg in front, I like to use my right leg. I change my level, leaning forward, Look how I pick that heel off the ground, guys. I can't drive my knee down without picking my heel off the ground. 
and as soon as my knee hits the floor, I open up my body. You see how that back leg is driving me forward? From here, I catch myself with that back leg, lean into it, placing all my force into that leg, and I spring into the opposite direction, okay? So let's do that a little bit faster. So again, change my level, lean forward, boom, as soon as my knee hits the floor, I expand my body, back leg comes in front, load that leg up, and man, I explode all the way up, okay? Boom. All right, again, from a different angle, just a little bit faster. I change my level, lean forward, boom, back leg comes up, place all my weight into that leg, and explode forward. So now I'm gonna do a few times just uh, without any instruction, and just so you guys can see like the full speed, okay? So guys, hopefully this helps you work on your shot. And so this move I can do, I can use it for a double leg, the same shot. I can use it for a single leg, like uh, sweeping to the outside. Boom. Uh, so it's very versatile, um, just footwork. And that's something that I, I like to focus on a lot now. Uh, it's important you have your techniques, but you also need to know how to put yourself in the right positions with your footwork. And I think a lot of people get tripped up um, Especially passing, you know, passing takedowns. If your footwork's kind of sloppy, you know, you, you don't know how to move, you're not coordinated, it, it's, it's gonna be really hard to do any takedowns or passing. So uh, just think about your footwork, okay? Till next time, guys, peace out.